Hey everybody, welcome to day four. Uh, hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. I definitely enjoyed mine. It was a lot of fun, even though my uh, team lost. And uh, yeah, but congratulations to the Eagles. They definitely deserved it. So day four, it was actually another one thing that we did. We went to a museum, so we learned about the history of Jamaica, um, how they gained their independence, things like that. And we also learned about uh, Rastas or Rastafarian, Rastafarians, Rastafarian, Rastafarians. They smoke weed. That's that's the point. <laughs> they smoke weed to connect with God. So there's actually a lot of information. Um, too much for me to just kind of spot it all off. So you know, here's a little segment. You can pause at any point you want, and you can read what was on the palace that we read. So. Smallest one. So at this point, that's where the process ends. So right here, they got sugar and molasses. And under here is the fireplace where they put the wood. And you have the 12 tribes of Israel. So these right here are the Bobo Shanties Rastafari. So you see, Rastafari, we can see they are bearded and they wear locks. Many people say dreadlocks, but in Jamaica, we know that this word is a discriminatory word. The dreadlocks part of it is a part of discrimination because when they first started out, they were discriminated against. So many people here in Jamaica, we call we say locks. And they are vegetarian. And around the back we also have a hand grenade, very old, very antique, but I don't know if I've I don't know if I've ever seen one of the like this before. So in the Maroon community, they normally have some very fierce warriors who will attack the planters and the plantation. But right here we have some of these artifacts from the Maroon community. This is actually so this is one I was telling you about, I and I. Well, I and I is you and I, are you and me. But the Rastafari said that's a, that's a divisive word. The African came in to fill a void that was left by a Taino. Because when they were overworked, they died out, so the Spanish devised a plan. They said they're going to get a group of people who are stronger than the Taino, who can withstand the tropical sun because they are black skin. So they went to Africa, the western part, and they took out a lot of people out of West Africa. Let fly take the leg, and then they lost the leg. And then the planter would just use them as an example to stop other slaves from trying to escape. But up top here we have one of our freedom fighters, he was called Sam Sharp. And the square out there was named all time because that's where he was hung for um, inciting this rebellion, the 1831 Christmas rebellion. There were actually a couple of things that I did learn that won't be shown. And one of them is actually that uh, the Rastas call people, you know, because Rastas got the dreadlocks. And the people that don't have them who just aren't Rastas, they actually call them bald heads. And Bob Marley actually wrote a song, and one of the lines is, chase them bald heads out. And that was, you know, I didn't really know what to think of that. To me, that kind of sounded a little bit like maybe racism. I think that would be the right for it. I'm not 100% sure, though, but it kind of sounded like they were being persecuted by the Rastas, which is kind of strange because, you know, there are these really peaceful it's this really peaceful religion, which kind of surprised me. And the other thing that really blew my mind is, you know, I back in high school I actually did a report on uh, Bob Marley and Rastas, but I never, in all my research, I never came across the fact that you know they were as positive as they are. Um, you know, this would be much easier if I actually remember this kind of information, but no, I had to write it all down. Oh, it disappeared. Where'd my notes go? So, for instance, they were so positive that they did not use the word understand because it has a negative connotation of being under something. So they would say overstand. Like, I, it just blew my mind. I wish I could be that positive. And one of the other things that you probably can see on what I recorded is that the Rastas were persecuted. And they, um, the Jamaican government tried to kill them all. Like they, for whatever reason, these peaceful people who 
bit live very minimal uh, materialistic lives the government saw them as a threat like, I just I don't I don't understand that and it blew my mind at the mistreatment that they had uh, it, it was honestly it was kind of comparable to the treatment that African Americans suffered here in the US back when you know Martin Luther King gave a speech and just times like that like the Jamaican government just said if you see a Rasta uh, arrest him no, no rhyme or reason for doing it just arrest him and then he told the people if you see one report him like they were just being gathered and arrested for no reason <laughs> look who it is hi Ryan sis how are you look at this look at this this is what I'm vlogging on right now. I have a real camera. Oh my gosh, I'm too close. This uh, aperture, not aperture. That's the focus. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Focus, that little thing that. <laughs> I just got out of photography, so you gotta give me a break. I See, I'm judging you a it. little bit for using your phone for this. See, At like, least I came all the way up here to use this thing. You're right, that is dedication. Yeah. I, I have a regular camera in my room. I'm just like, it would be a pain to carry it on. And then you got like that, like the gorilla pod thing, right? And yeah. Just, like, and my hands are shaky though, so it's like. <laughs> I don't know. It's gotta yeah. be rough. It's, it's gotta be real rough, man. I couldn't imagine being you. Yeah, you know what? All the girls me. want you. Being up on the big screen in chapel. Even now. He's right. That's Drew, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my good side right now. I see your butt. Oh. Oh. oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that door is like a heavy open. <laughs> I'm just like. <sighs> Drew came to visit. That was an interesting little surprise. <laughs> so what was I talking about again? I don't really remember. So I'm sorry if that seems a little incomplete, but hey, I got a little visit from Drew. Ah. One final thing, uh, Kim actually wrote a rap. Like she wrote a rap to the instrumental version of Bodak Yellow, and it's really, really good. Like I was really impressed. I'm so happy that she showed it to us. Uh, so, you know, you all know her as Kim, but let me introduce to you, okay. Thug Gear. I said, Satan, you can't mess with us if you wanted to. We're the roommates, we're the real. We trust in our God above. Hit the book, living in the will means we ain't gotta choose. We know you're quick, but you don't then beat, so don't get comfortable. Look, we don't dance now, he makes mountains move. We ain't gotta dance, he makes mountains move. If we see you and we don't speak, that means we don't deal with you. We're his chosen, you're a demon. We make holy moves. Now you say she, then you pray for who? Let's find out and see. <laughs> yeah, but you know where she's at. You know what it be. You in this chapel just to study. She's there and the Holy Spirit be in her heart so much. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right, don't really care about who ain't fond of she Got straight A's in all her years But girl work as hard as we know her heart Cares for people, Karen is a guarantee They see her grace, they say go Brown rest who you're trying to be Look, we hang with Selfie Swagger She's real good with soccer She is as chill as they make She's real deal, she's not fake God leading her his way She's like, okay He let her get what she want He blesses her, she don't want And in her prayer, she be dependent on God Selfie Swagger got the I'm the sweetest of the sweet, so <laughs> you've probably heard of me. God is Savior, fix my heart, you know he let me restart. And I give my dollar bill to the past, no time to chill. Main point, what you seem to know, so your God is servant's heart. I said, Satan, you can't mess with us if you wanted to. We're the roommates, we're the real. We trust in our God above. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <coughs> I mean, you keep, what do you think about? We don't dance now, he makes mountains move. We ain't gotta dance, he makes mountains move. If we see you and we don't speak, that means we don't deal with you. We're his chosen, you're a demon. We make holy moves, if you are weak then you get stopped. You're a groupie of our squad, roll up to the gym, you leave. You can't hang around our block. And we just checked our progress, turns out we're ripped, we're ripped, we're ripped. We put the weight above our hip, I bet you lift, you lift, we lift. I say, our hearts on fire for soul, holy spirit burn like a stove, soul shine like glitter is gold. You know we play our role, we just drove off a Tommy, we just came up in TT. She needs to fill up the tank, no we need to fill up the safe, we're here to let you know that.
dad really choose this to say. Wasn't that great? Like, I'm so glad that she showed that to us. So I guess that's the end of it. Um, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. See you.